should know why because you're wearing your pants a certain way and in jail that means a certain thing i am not gonna explain that but uh what that dude name Pete johnson or something remember uh what was it nbc uh thing there was something that the, the time to people in prison or something and that dude would talk, call himself the booty warrior Anyway, when you wear your pants sagging like that, that's saying that you are a belly boo. So I advise people to stop doing that. And plus, that looks sloppy as hell. And then you hope you represent your people. And you coming around looking like a slob. That's not a style. That's not cool. Just stop doing that, people. And especially young people. All right, moving along. Um, Next stop, we'll talk about the PS2 to PS4 or 5. What I mean by that is that, in another way, it's common sense, in another way, it's sense, or whatever you call it. <laughs> um, should should a PS2 be upgraded and remade for PS4 and 5 games? Like, uh, for instance, like, um, ah, True Crimes is. Uh, Streets of L.A. and Streets of New York. Those two should be remade, redid, and brought back to PS4 and 5 for us to enjoy. Because I remember back at the time when it came out to PS2 that, like, um, the game was cool and everything, but they could have did some, a lot more graphic and improvement. And plus, when you're driving around and stuff, the city looks the same. It looks kind of funny. Um, and in New York, um, they didn't advertise it good enough, so it didn't make that much profit when it um when it was released. And and I'm saying now they they can do a redemption of that game. Can um, Streets of New York were pretty good. Um, it don't have to be. Uh, Streets of New York or LA, but it could be a game the same as you know, same as that, but remade. But um, I think this said they have made that uh, what was that um, uh, what was that game? The one with the the China dude, and he's uh, he goes undercover in the mob, Chinese mafia or something, and and uh, he's undercover for a while. And, what not and then they found out that he was undercover but they let him live because uh they were gonna use him. But anyway. What was it called? Something dog. Sleeping dog? I think it was sleeping dog. That was a pretty good game. But I mean like come on, like I mean like make like a urban you know what I mean? Like a urban remade like game of um True Crime Street of New York or uh, Narc. Narc was a good game. Um, 
even though it wasn't that many places you can go that like they could have like upgraded and make it a lot more cool and stuff awesome um the graphics nowadays a lot more better um and i think that you bring a few of these and more ps2 games and remade them for ps4 or 5 would be awesome if sony do that um on the xbox side i know they got some good xbox one games that didn't make it to xbox uh wait no first xbox that could have gone to the new Xbox they got nowadays. They could have redid the graphics, made it better, and whatnot. They got the money to do it. This is kind of lazy. Um, so, here's a reference to the developers. Um, please um, remake them games. Bring them back. We miss them. We love them. We would love to see them like upgraded a lot better. And, you know, like you did Final Fantasy. And a remake and uh and a few other games to play there. Um but uh don't leave PS2 games hanging and stuff. And I know they closed a lot of PS uh three stores but they have some good games like uh what was it? Um Far Cry I think Far Cry one and two went to PS three. It'd be good to put bring it up. The PS4 or 5 standard. Heck, you can add on some after scene to it. Make it cool. Come on, bring it. You know. Um let's see. Uh now, moving on to the last subject. I know I'm kind of moving fast here, but I know um I don't want to waste everybody's time, so I gotta make it a little quicker. Um let's see, uh GameStop transparency. Um what I mean by that. Is that, uh, have you noticed that, okay, let me start from the beginning. Back in the early 2000s, when you go to GameStop, you step in, you see a whole bunch of games, all kind of games, system, whatnot, old games, new games, you know, game coming soon. It's like, it was like a Funko Land of games when you step in there. And you know, it was exciting, the atmosphere is live, you going at it. Yeah, you know, it felt like a wonderland. You be sitting there for like hours of the checking out every game like it's a library. Um <laughs> But nowadays, uh twenty twenty two, um, you step into the GameStop, you know it's it like partially empty. It like a lot of games are missing, um, a lot of um systems are disappearing too and you know and it ain't the same you don't got the same atmosphere feel to it and then the employees look bored and tired and hating their life you know what i mean and you know you got that one dude in the corner got that bored expression on his face staring out the window staring at the computer screen or whatever and his voice sound like this like Hey, how you doing? Yeah, welcome to GameStop. You need anything? Let me know. You know that low energy kind of thing. It kind of low down the feel of being a GameStop. You know, everybody used to be peppy, happy, and they used to have a lot of games. And now you got to go online to buy the games and stuff. Instead of being able to go there personally and pick out your games, you know what I mean, and not pay shipping fees. Who the hell want to play chip and feet? Come on, tell me that. That's why a lot of people shop on eBay. Anyway. <laughs> um, yeah. So, yeah, that's the, the transparency part. It, it kind of sad and it kind of creepy at the same time. And it's kind of like, it's like GameStop taking out the fun out. And like, it makes it look like that store is about to go off, you know, about to, you know, um, jump off a cliff. You know what I mean? So I I will be wondering like what what game company gonna take over after GameStop disappear? You know what I mean? Who gonna take over? You know what I mean? What new what new thing that gonna happen? You know? Because Funkland used to be around and Funkland closed and there's Hollywood blockbuster games and crazy games and then they changed it over. To, I think they changed it to GameStop. GameStop took over. Then GameStop 
starting to get bad. So who's going to take over and um, and please the gaming people? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Anyway, that's all for the segment today. Um, this is Blue Ultra 1 um, saying thanks for listening. I uh, hope you enjoy it. Um, I bring a lot better news to you <laughs> and things um, to talk about. So until next time, let's talk about it. Ultra. Hey, this is Blue Ultra. Join, subscribe, become a member of the Blue Ultra Force. This is Blue Ultra. Saying thank you.